Welcome back. Welcome ah. back. Hall of the Mountain King? The heck? Yeah, well, we're not going to stop at the Hall of the Mountain King? No, we have to. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, guess what? We found it. <laughs> guess it was the place to be. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, here we are. Talk to the dog. Okay. Uh, they don't keep the roads up too well, do they? Not down here. So empty. Just let it go, I guess. All right. Uh, take a look at the bridge. The bridge ends abruptly, crumbling in disrepair. Let's talk to Johnny. Time to cut him loose, ma'am. Well, now I'm having fun. <laughs> okay. Slow night anyway. Now we're all these people. My God. We got a big group now. Up the boardwalk. Ooh, what's this? Rope. Why, that's some rope! A loop of decayed rope is coiled on the banister. Some rotted sections have been smoothed over with a uh, fine dust. Okay. Heading up. Ooh, computers. Computers. Broken computer monitors are heaped precariously among the rocks. I gotta bring the music down a bit. There we go. Ooh. A pet carrier for a cat or a small dog has been left by the path. A calcified rag wadded in the corner may once have been a blanket. Oh. All right. Hey, there's a person. Are we, are we gonna meet the Mountain King themselves? Oh, I hope so. That there's... looks like Pearl, doesn't it? Yeah, From actually it does. That would oh, be my God, guess. I hope not. <laughs> a hiking backpack leans against a rock. It's empty except for a dusty bag of cat food and a few punch cards. Okay. Let's look at the fire! Don't get too close to the fire. Pilot disregarded the electronics burns steadily in the center of the chamber. Is it going to say something different? No. Pilot disregarded electronics. It's Amy. Damn it, I was going to see if I could do it in the exact same tone that I did that the first time. <laughs> well, it's a new one. It's all you. Looks like uh, a kid. Oh. oh, it's triangles within triangles down here. Shifty, intersecting, overlaying. Isn't that romantic? Let's see. You're here to steal back the love of a boy you once knew when you were too young to recognize the moments of the heart, movements of the heart. And you're escorting her, pretending to have her interests at heart while really, really you're in love with the young woman as well. And so you've agreed to help him conspire to win her affections, but it's just a ploy to see him up for, set him up for embarrassment and diminish him out of the picture. I'm into it. Well, maybe I still have the knack. I used to be really good at this. I had 11 novels published from the billionaire's bidding to fields of longing, real hot bodice ripping stuff, you know? I miss those days in my Lexington studio apartment, just me and my thesaurus staining up the windows. Why did you stop writing? Well, you know, suddenly it was all computers everywhere you went. I thought I might be able to do something with that. With that, Inject a little libido into those ugly beige boxes. Ha! So I went back to the university and I studied human computer interaction. And then I picked up Donald's research assistantship here as a tester, debugging. Real Wallace Shawn vibe I'm getting from this one. A little bit. Yeah. In my off hours, I played around with the doomed love story at the core of our little simulation. That seemed to amuse Donald, so I kept at it. I'm afraid I tinkered too much, made it too complex. Now our work is never done. 
We don't even have to add any new functionality. The bugs just grow on their own. Too complex. I miss those days in my Lexington studio apartment. Really wants us to know about their Lexington studio apartment. Proud of that apartment. Yeah. Misses it. A woman in a tattered cardigan looks furtively at the other people around the fire. Furtively. It's a great word. Same stuff. Okay. All right. Let's head over to this old man. I'll take the old man. Uh, uh, how old are we talking? I don't you look know that old. You, uh, since I got Wallace Shawn vibes, now I'll go with Andre Gregory, his off-time scene, par scene partner. I thought you were going to say Andre the Giant. Now, uh, Stick with a... Did you ever watch um, My Dinner with Andre? Uh, I want to say I only watched it... Bri I don't think I watched the whole thing. I watched part of it when Community did an episode dedicated to it. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's worth checking out. I, I've, I've watched it so many times. Mm. I love it. So I'll just I'll just do Andre Gregory. Okay. Do you know Donald Wally. Puffs on a smoldering pipe while half mumbling, half singing an old country tune. And the old green river runs through hills and caves not known to us down to that sunless sea. Oh, who are you? Oh, what's that song? Oh, you've caught a verse of my absent-minded warbling. It's just a song from my youth. Some Something a dear friend used to sing to herself as we hacked on crystal radios in the boiler room. In old Kentucky, where my love, a lovely home did build for me. And where the old green river runs through hills and caves, not known to us, down to that sunless sea. From there on, it's all meandering rivers and romantic greenery, and that is, uh, what were we talking about? Uh, we're a bit lost, actually. Ah, you came from the road, the zero. No, you should stay off that road. Not safe. Bizarre topology. You'll never get anywhere. It just brings you right back here. Back to this cave? Always back to this spot. It's a prison. An irrational prison. But I don't mind. Not anymore. This is where my life's work is. The computer. Right on the other side of the spire. It looks like a harmless old computer, doesn't it? Like some beat-up mainframe exhumed from a university basement and left in this cave to rot. Or to flower! No, it's no ordinary computer. I've modified it extensively, and in some pretty experimental ways. Believe you me, and that's to say nothing of the software, but... You look like a technically-minded sort of person. Tell me, do you know the effects of mold growth on diffused-based transistor circuitry? Um, uh... I don't know. I would assume it would short-circuit. Sounds like it would short-circuit. Certainly, certainly, but not all of it. Some moldy filaments are more or less conductive than others, and it grows in nonlinear chaotic patterns. We can guide it a bit through a simple application of classical horticulture, but we can't produce specific results, only tendencies. Thwarted and feeble, we hammer on this derelict, derelict keyboard. My name is Reason, King of Kings! But we are mere gardeners in the ruins. Our keystrokes echo off into the tunnels, boundless and bare. The caves stretch far away. We are too late. Always too late. This man's talking about organic circuitry. What? He's a madman! <laughs> a madman! <laughs> what? Did you say something? <laughs> uh, I'm just I'm just interested in the mold computer. The mold computer. The... Oh! Xanadu! You've heard about it! Perhaps you've read about it in a journal... It's been years since I published anything. Xanadu was, has evolved significantly since I explained its data structures in my article Literary Multitudes, Hypertextual Narrati Narrative as Post-Structural Witness. I got through it. Evolved. And then deteriorated. <sighs> puff, puff. I'm afraid you are too late, fellow hypertext enthusiast. 
As the mold accumul accumulated on the circuitry, Xanadu blossomed for a moment into something holy and enchanted, and then all the charm was broken. Do you have any idea what it's like to spend your life building something, and then sit powerlessly as your work declines into ruin? Yes. <laughs> I love the, the way this guy talks. I don't follow it. Um... Uh, I drive deliveries for a small antique shop, and we're closing down. Ah, shuffling around the dusty ghosts of antiquity. Well, I have my own ghosts, and I keep them in there, in Xanadu. It's running on that glorious, dusty machine. Take a look if you'd like. Too late to do anything but smoke and reminisce anyway. Far too late to do anything. Oh, oh, we got another guy. I guess this makes you Andrew. <laughs> I don't remember how many characters there are eventually. I don't know. I might. I mean, I'll I'll do Andrew if All you right. want. Amy but... was Wallace Shawn. I just got to remember that. I'll do yeah, Andrew. You got Andrew. All right. Let's see. Let's get a feel for this guy. Um, Let me see. Do you know that when I first... Do you know that when I first... No, I mean, if this cave were larger, could it... Okay, now I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, uh, oh, I've got it. How would you characterize this space? The one we're standing in now? Uh, kind of spooky, but I'm not scared. Spooky for a baby. Okay, I, I, I think we'd all agree that's a fair assessment. How could a... Uh, oh, wait. Let's unpack that for a moment. What, what makes it spooky? No, how do you know it's spooky? Or would be spooky for a baby. The huge fire! Mysterium Tremendum! It sends the shadows scattering, momentarily lights the mouths of unseen tunnels. That fire is constantly reshaping my... Close your eyes. Will you close your eyes? Only if you close yours. Okay, okay. I can do it from memory. Good. Now... You are standing at the top of a rocky peak. A tongue of flame licks the the uh, shadowy anato uh, anatomies of where are we? Oh, here again. How disappointing. Uh, you take that one. Sorry to uh, disappoint. No, no, it's my fault. I shouldn't be so attached to the future. It's always getting in the way of my work. And, uh, and better to be in the moment, carefully observing and documenting with no attachment. Let me give you an example. I was a grad student studying statistics when I started working with Donald on his project. He said we needed someone with a more analytical mind to do the descriptive writing. Someone who would appreciate the cave descriptions as real labor instead of taking their authorial voice for granted. Donald warned me it would be long hours of typing painstakingly detailed descriptions into the computer, and I've put in the hours. Believe me, I've put in the hours. I've described every facet of this cave in such detail that sometimes I don't know if I'm reading or looking, writing or exploring. Often in the dark and lonely moments, I worry that in my sleep I've transcribed rooms for my dreams into the system. How would we know? They could only be entered with precise, faithful detail. That's all I know how to write. And all I dream about is caves. I only dream of caves. Jeez. That's a good song title, too, by the way, for... Uh, I only dream of caves? Yeah. You know, I need to... Hang on. Grabbing a, a notepad file here. With, for Smooth Blue Goof? I only dream of caves. Smooth Blue Goof songs i only dream of caves uh there was also boss cookie boss cookie was the other one and the first one was oh right uh something best band what it was west of the mississippi hottest oh, band. No, that's just the tagline for the for the band is the hottest band this side of the mississippi the hottest band see that you say this side of the mississippi this side and it's just wherever you're sitting true good point I, <laughs> I like that. Hang on, I'm just saving this so we have it. Uh, uh, smooth blue goof 
songs. Okay, very good. I don't know, I like the idea of doing a song called The Hottest Band This Side of the Mississippi. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what it would be like, but I guess we'll find yeah. out soon. Let's look at this Time game. out real quick. Oh, sure. Oh. Alright, anyway. Alright, we're back. <laughs> a massive gate constructed out of scavenged materials blocks passage down the far side of the spire. Okay. Ah, uh, too many voices. I guess I'll take Roberta. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, Roberta. Yes, I don't know how she's going to speak. The kingdom is in peril. Oh, the king. No, no, no. That's what I'll do. The kingdom is in peril. <laughs> well, what else is new? Oh, God. Yeah, it's back, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but you talk. I'm not doing Ezra while doing this voice. Okay. Uh, do you work here? What was my thing that I said in this voice? There we go. Because it's the truth. Because it's the truth. Work. You could call it that. I gather old circuit boards and throw them in the fire. Sometimes I fish out precious metals and let them cool into toxic gems. I put them in my hair. Enchanted jewelry, talismans, a magic mirror that prevents the future, a magic shield that protects the bearer from age, a magic chest that's always filled with... I never went to the university. I was an independent scholar. It means I took to the public libraries like a beachcomber. I studied fairy tales, and then I came to work for Donald. I paid the bills, rubbed leathering elbows with academics. Scraped black mold from cave walls. Finally, now I carry the firewood into senescence. What does that word mean? <laughs> I don't know. The kingdom Hold on. is in I'm curious. peril. It's the truth. Uh, the condition of process of deterioration with age. Oh, okay. Loss of a cell's power of division and growth. Cellular senescence is a phenomenon characterized by the secession of cell division. Pro the condition or process of deterior deterioration of with age. Hmm. Senescence. 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 That makes Senescence. Sense. That makes sense. Hmm. Word of the day, kids. I can see how, yeah, all right. Senescence. Sen, I guess, coming off of, like, senile. Maybe it's senescence. <gasps> I mean, it's it's all rooted in Latin, I suppose, so it, yeah, probably not far off. Hey, look, it's Xanadu. We found it. The, movie the, the Olivia Newton-John classic? Yes. Of course. The baffling control panels are sheltered from the elements with a worn tarp. A closet-sized wall of knobs and wires looms behind the machine, humming faintly. An electric typewriter is the only recognizable component. Um, oh, this goes back. Before I do that next thing, I'm just making sure I haven't missed anything. So I know. I think this goes Why in around. Why Donald the, clicked over on the left? You well, see check that? it out. Uh, it, this is actually we're walking in a big circle. I yeah, I know that. I think it's gonna take us back. I, it's probably just taking us back to him. I just want to make sure there was nobody between here and him that we missed talking to. Yeah, I got you. Uh, but I don't think so. I think that's probably everybody. Hmm. Yeah, because there's the first person we talked to. Amy. That is Amy, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, back. Back, run! Mm? Run, Godway! Get to the other side. There we go. Now the camera's caught up. All right, time to go type into Xanadu. So yeah, smooth blue goof. The hottest band on the side of the Mississippi. Boss cookie. I only dream of caves. I think we got something. Okay. I'm real. I'm actually. I'm really excited. Because why shouldn't we make music? We should. That's exactly. Right. I'm, I'm hoping that the game takes a turn, and that's what we just end up doing, is just joining their band. Yeah, we, that's just what we end up doing for a living. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're losing our job as a delivery man. Oh, I meant in real life. <laughs> oh. We become the hottest new band, the side of the Mississippi. Smooth blue goof. It's going to happen. How do you think we I get it? I can't wait. Yeah. How do you think we get it started? This old thing? Maybe there's a hand crank around. Oh, it has a run key. 
here goes. Oh. <gasps> the next scene. Well, you know what? We did a lot Act of talking. Three, those, I think that was enough for an episode. Five. Yeah. I think so. Xanadu. Folks, tune back in tomorrow and we'll begin Xanadu. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you then. Goodbye. Goodbye.